Hey guys, so today we're gonna make Ye Ye's tacos. And this is the stuff that you need to make some of her tacos. You need you a bundle of cilantro. Um, a few limes, we like four, just because we like extra lime. Uh, two onions, one to cook in your meat and one to have for, to have raw onion with the cilantro. Um, we also like two avocados, that's optional. And then you need some of the meat. This is uh, beef. This is beef. We got two packs of that. And you will, the seasoning you need is this meat, uh, steak and meat seasoning that you uh, get at your, um, get at Walmart or the Mexican store or wherever you need to go. Um, this is uh, kind of expensive, but it lasts for a Forever. long time. And you can cook, you can use it with other meats, you like can grilling. Use, well, it's for steak and meat, so. Yeah. And some you people like the lime, the lime. Sour cream, yeah, he has a, a recipe for the sour cream and lime. So good. And you need you some corn tortillas or flour tortillas, whatever you prefer. We prefer the corn tortillas. All right. And she also has some cayenne pepper, and black I, pepper. And I use jalapenos, but I don't have And none. chopped cilantro. And that's what you need. All right, so then you're gonna chop up your onion. Cause half of it's gonna go in the cilantro, half in the meat, okay? Well, I'm not the best chopper. <laughs> not the best chopper. Usually if I had a better knife, now, trying to work it out. This is for the cilantro, right? Yeah. To put the lime and all that in. I need a better knife, don't I? You're doing good. You don't gotta be perfect. And you gotta have a Vidalia onion. Can't cook without the Vidalia onion. These South Georgia onions are the best. I got my peaches out of Georgia. The salt. All right, so now Ye is washing her cilantro. A little salt to wash it. Okay. You added vinegar too, right? Yes, the vinegar will loosen up the any dirt that's on it. Some good old apple cider vinegar to cleanse it. That's how you cook, you know, cook your greens. Clean your greens. It helps loosen up any dirt that's on it. Okay. Now let that soak for a minute. Make sure you put it in cold water or they'll wilt. Let that set for a minute to loosen. All right, so now Ye is going to wash her meat, sort through the meat, make sure everything's looking, looking right. legit. <laughs> yes, you never... Cause you always wash your meat off your them where you get it from, Publix. I'm telling you, always wash your meat. So, kind of ground soup, cause you never know what's in it. Canola oil. Just, cause I don't, you know, I hate stuff that sticks. And y'all remember my pan that I bought at Walmart? Well, I love this thing. So now that my meat has. Been clean. So we're just gonna put it all in there. Okay. Okay. Now, before I let it simmer my meat, I'm gonna put my uh I don't know how to call this. Steak and meat seasoning. Yeah, steak meat season. And you know, just sprinkle it like this. Every how big you pan is, just do that a couple times. And with the cayenne pepper, since the kids are, and I'm just, I just put a little bit of this just for, I don't know, for flavor. You don't have to use that. That's my, that's my creation. Black pepper. And you actually don't want to put no salt. I don't add no more salt because the simple fact is there's salt in this. And I don't want to over salt it. I think there is. Yeah, see, that's one of the number one ingredients in that is salt. And you want to cover your pepper a little bit. All right, I'm gonna let this cook before I add my onions. Damn, house down. 
So I didn't do a good job. Yeah, it's going back over my cilantro, picking out stems. Yeah, she's fired. <laughs> I'm fired. All right, I'm gonna do half of my onions now while it simmers for. Now this meat has to simmer for like an hour, don't it? To, for in order for it to be good. So I'm gonna put half. Yeah, I'm gonna put half of my onions and cook with it, and the rest like right before it gets done. So we'll have some crunch onions in it too, and let it uh, simmer. And it's looking. It's gonna be looking good. Mix it all up, cover it up, and let it simmer. Cause. I think I need some more of that seasoning on it. Don't I do you? too. I, I don't thought, smell I it. I don't yes. smell it now. So add a little more seasoning if you can't smell it. <laughs> if you don't smell it. <laughs> you don't smell it. <laughs> add, then add a little more. more. But don't add salt or you're going to have too salty stuff. Now I can smell it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we open it up again if it don't smell. <laughs> no, that's way too much. We don't want to put too much. I'm going to tell you the best way to do these. You're going to squeeze some lime in it? Yeah, the best way, I'm going to put some zest in it. Right. The best way to do these is, uh, is to, uh, let me get my zester. Where is my zester? Yeah, I don't know where my zester is. I'll have to find my, I'll put it in later. I have to put some zest slime in it. That's why I like, you know, the zest is this part. You scrub it on in there a little bit, it gives it that limey flavor. But, um... The best way to do these is let these marinate overnight in some of this. Put a little water with it and marinate it. But we're hungry. But we're starving, so couldn't wait for it to marinate. So it's going to marinate in the pan. All right. I'll find the zester. Now I'm chopping my cilantro. Can't see in this area, can you? That light that one out. I need a better chopper. When it's wet, it's best to let it dry because when it's real wet, and I see it ain't gritty no more like it was. All that dirt has been released. Let it soak for about five or ten minutes in that vinegar and water, salt water. And this is for your for the top of your tacos. I'm going to cut these, but I'm going to leave that to the side to squeeze over the cilantro and the onions. And these will be for the put. I, I don't, it don't matter about washing this twice because you're going to be using this with the cilantro. So, And this is the one that we need to uh, zest half of it. It's best to come like this. And they squeeze better. But them little ones do too, don't they? It depends. You can squeeze them any kind of way. So... Anyway, so we're going to take this, you know, just do that, give it some zest. And I'd like, and I'd like to get my zester, but I'm going to find it in a minute. So we have all of our onions chopped, our lime chopped, our cilantro chopped. We have that meat marinating. Woo, steamy. We can't find my zester, so we're going to have to do the... Squeeze the it, line. squeeze the lime. But the zest is what the best, it's best to zest. Hey, that makes it sound, it's best to zest. But maybe I can zest it a little bit like that. That's where all the good flavors come in. I can't get it. Hot oil. <laughs> I'm trying, okay. I'm trying to slice it the right way, y'all. Uh, okay, let's do it like this. Maybe it'll come off. This is, okay. This is like the a easier way to slice the avocado, but it's hard. It's not right. So, but it, it's a hard avocado. That's why it's not peeling that good. Usually, if it was it was more softer, y'all, this would just peel right off. So she's fired in that section too. Mm -hmm. Nah, she did good. Yes, yeah, <laughs> they're hard to peel and they're hard, ain't they? Mm -hmm. Usually, it'll just pull right off on it, right? Mm -hmm. Now I look like a big idiot. <laughs> yeah. Well. Then with that uh, 
good part of the video where I was going to just slice it around, make it look good. Okay, here we go. That's good enough. But see, see how much you waste when you see how much I wasted because it wouldn't come off good. See all that? I haven't look. So we need to get a thing and scrape all this if he was making avocados. Oh, okay. Avocado guacamole? Yeah. So, all right. Let's. Damn. What in the world? <laughs> what in the world happened? Now, Tyler's over there. Mariah's watching him live and won't come over here in video. So now we're going to uh, spray that and do the tortilla. Can you let them? <laughs> Mariah's listening to Tyler, y'all. Let my tortillas cook because you don't want no raw tortilla. They taste horrible. Let them cook on each side and put your remainder ones in this when you're finished so you'll have more for another day. You know it's time to flip them, they'll start bubbling. See how that's bubbling? So it's time to flip that one, it's bubbling. When they start bubbling, see? That's when you flip them, when they bubble. Sorry, it's upside down. So when they start bubbling, you flip them. Got these, see how good them look? They're cooked, these are still raw. All right, and so once they're done, you just get your lime, squeeze your lime to activate all those good flavors. And then you enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment.